Okay. Um, I've been meaning to, uh, I wanted to keep posting uh, my observations and ruminations, I guess, <laughs> on uh, the thing going on over in uh, Missouri, Ferguson. And the first, the first thing that um, really, really, I, I just had to make a decision, a personal decision. I had uh, some people on my Facebook page, classmates actually, which is the reason I really got on to uh, Facebook, uh, reconnect with some old friends, high school friends, and and for the most part, that's been a, a great joy. Uh, seeing the you know the pictures of uh, their families and their children and now grandchildren, um, it's fun. Now we've all kind of got over the line a bit here and there, politics, religion, and things and such. You make allowances. And you understand everybody has their right. We're grown. Um, we're not kids. Well, this week I had to unfriend some people. When the story came out, when that police chief from Ferguson released that video of, uh, it's Mike, it's Michael Brown, taking those cigarellos, that's all some people needed. That's all some people needed to say, oh well, I don't understand what uh, all that fuss is about. A friend, well, somebody I started, I went to elementary school with, graduated high school with, actually celebrated the fact that he got shot. <laughs> I remember playing kickball with this clown. Another guy from high school. I never liked him anyway. And uh, we would have gotten into it if my friend hadn't yeah, took it to him. Uh, it's a fake tough wannabe guy. And he got his butt kicked more often. Than <laughs> First thing he said, uh huh, why am I not surprised there was looting? And had you actually been paying attention, listening for something other than what you needed to hear to, to reinforce what you already believed, you would have found out that uh, the people doing the looting, most of them don't live in uh, Ferguson. You would have saw men, black men, young boys, young men standing in front of business establishments saying, no, you're not gonna, it's not happening here, bro. Keep it moving. You would have seen people from any number of uh, organizations walking the streets pleading for peace. I remember a passage from the scriptures in your meekness, you shall be strong. Even people pleading for peace. Brother, don't do this. Don't do this. Young sisters imploring uh, the community. Let's not tear up our own. Let's do this the right way. Never mind a highway patrol captain forced into action because he's from Ferguson and he's black. That's, that, that's why they put it, that's why they brought him. <laughs> Doing everything he know how. Now, I really believe he's in over his head, but no less, nevertheless, I, I, I really say he, he stood tall. But these people, my classmates, 
schoolmates. One I have known since elementary school. We were in an elementary class together. And when I think back, they were jerks in school. But I come to realize this week, it just doesn't matter. You can be a fine, upstanding. All they need to see is the worst of us. The worst of us. Never mind the best of us. Hell, Barack Obama. <laughs> Okay, first of all, Occidental is uh, is one of the better uh, private schools in the nation. Uh, you know, you may not have the prestige with it, at least not on the East Coast. But he left there and went to Columbia. And make no mistake, our Ivy League schools in this country, they're the top, more than just prestige. Those, those are the top schools in this nation. And therefore, by extension, the world. Then he goes to Harvard Law. Did everything they tell us we need to do. And they still treating him like it, he, he's not good enough. And, and it's got nothing to do with his politics. It's got nothing to do with all the stuff they say. He's black and they don't like him for no other reason. All they need to see is the worst of us. And it reinforces what they already believed. Now, to be fair, the uproar, that feeds into what a shared experience for many a person of color. It reinforced what we already believed, how we already felt. It just reactivated something. I, I once heard a, a doctor, a medical doctor say, um, your body is filled with all the diseases that can kill you. Cancer's in your body. Uh, you got fungus, fungi in your body. You've got um, viruses in your body. It, all it takes is anything can activate you and poof. You're sick. The worst of us all is lying there latent. It's right there, obvious. Doesn't take much. Some would say this makes look, black people look bad. I say it makes us all look bad. A police chief. Doing everything he knows how to protect a cop. By now, it's, it's kind of obvious this cop killed that kid. Wrongly, wrongfully. You got to let it play out. Because you never know what else. You never know. But he was unarmed. He couldn't, he didn't thought, he didn't think, he didn't consider he had a weapon, it was no weapon. And why that's hard for supposedly decent people to see? We're in trouble. <laughs> and we as uh, people of color, we need to quit, quit, stop imploring these people to understand us. They don't want to. I'm grateful for the people uh, in my high school, my schoolmates, the decent ones. For the most part, we had a grand time. We had a good time. I know I had fun. And so many of you are decent people now, fun people. But they're lying among us. Until next time.